All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you have all been waiting for, this is the very first video for my UCCX training series. I'm just going to start off real simple by creating a uh, UCCX9 server just to show you guys how to do the install for the servers. And this goes to, this applies to Call Manager, Unity Connection, IMPC, or any of them. They pretty much have the same general setup. And I'm just going in here, clicking through the normal things, and I'm using VMware Workstation 12. I assigned it uh, 4 gig of memory. I gave it 160 gig of hard drive space. I, uh, I'm assigning it one processor because that's what I have on my machine. The network connection is bridged, and, and I'm finished this, the configuration of the actual um, uh, properties of the physical server or the virtual physical server, however you like to look at it. Now I just hit run, and it automatically opens up the ISO file for UCCX9. And I'm just going to click on OK because this is the server that I do want to run. And I'm just going to click through the properties. Uh, it's really simple. I mean, you feel free to pause this video if I'm going through it too fast uh, and read the question that it asks so you can kind of get familiar of what's, what's being asked. Um, but right now, I'm really just going through, uh, getting through the prompts to where I can configure my servers and my DNS and NTP. So the first prompt is asking for a host name, IP address, IP mask, and gateway. So I'm going to choose the UCCX9 as my host name. I'm going to give it the IP address 192.168.15.50, putting in a, the uh, IP mask and the default gateway. And when configuring these, it's very important to create your DNS entry. And I'm going to go in and create a A record uh, for the new server. And you'll see me give it the host name and the IP address that you just saw. And I'm going to check the um, create associated pointed record. And that's going to create my reverse lookup record. So you'll see me go to that in just a second. Sometimes it doesn't take right off. So what I like to do is go up to the DNS and hit refresh or rows and hit refresh. And I also will close out the DNS app appliance and just go back into it. Once it loads back up, you'll notice that the uh, reverse record is there. And of course, the four record is already there because that's the one we actually created. And it just takes some time for things to kind of load back up for us. Okay. And now inside of my reverse lookup record, and there it is right there, dot 50. That wasn't there before. That's exactly what we wanted. So we can go ahead and hit OK to go to the next step. All right, here is going to be my DNS information. This is going to be my DNS server IP address, and this is going to be the domain. And I'm going to actually put uh, .14 here, but my DNS server that I was just on is actually .15. I intentionally put .14 because I want this server to error out, because I want to show you guys what it looks like when you face an error during the install of the servers. And again, this applies to Call Manager, Unity Connection, IMMP, CER, and UCCX. So I'm just ver verifying with you guys that my IP address is indeed dot fifteen. But as you saw, I put dot fourteen. I'm going to continue with this only because I want to get the error so I can show you guys how to what the error looks like and and how to correct it. And here I'm just going to put in my um, OS admin information and, and again you creating your own username and password uh, if you're doing this for a client it's very important to create an excel spreadsheet because you're going to have multiple usernames and password throughout your install of the various servers that you will deploy so you don't want to be guessing or just going off the top of your head as to what the username and password are because in the end you're going to have to hand it off to the customer and you could forget something all right the ntp lookup i like i like to use the um pool.mtp ntp 
www.ccp.org because there's a host of service underneath this uh, 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 domain name that's going to give you always going to give you a good working NTP server. Uh, this is going to be the security password uh, again, documented, documented just to make sure that you do not forget it or you do not uh, lose it when you hand it over to the customer. And this is going to be where you enter in the information for the user interface on the GUI. Uh, they technically can be the same, but I like to, you know, make them different just just because. And we're pretty much complete. I mean, it was just a simple step by step process of just getting all the information needed for the server to go ahead and run its install. And I'm going to skip ahead just so you guys don't have to watch the boring stuff. And I'm going to start it back once it fails. Okay, now I got my errors, and what the error is, of course, I typed in the wrong DNS server IP address. So I'm going to go back and hit review. Don't hit retry until you create your errors and hit OK. And see, we know that's fine. That is not my problem. But this is the time where you need to verify, make sure everything is fine. So I know this is, this is not my problem, but you may not this may be something you need to verify that you put in the right information okay so once it goes through this it's just a process that you have to go through once you make that error it's going to kind of walk through each configuration step that you uh input and make sure things are, are working properly so so this part check is going to check out fine it's going to take me to my next step All right, so here is where I messed up. And I'm just going to go in, back that 14 out, and put the 15 because I know that's where my mistake was at. And this is what you're going to face if you make a mistake when it comes to the uh, MTP servers when you, or, or the IP address. You're going to get a fail, and you're going to have to go through and walk through this stuff again. And it's not going to be a long process as it was when you first started, but it's going to give you an opportunity to make changes that need to be changed. Okay, I get a chance to verify my username and password. I know that's fine. This I just made up. I know that's fine. This is the first service. So here's the NTP stuff. I know this is a good NTP, but I can go ahead and test it if I would like to. And, and I'm going to go ahead and test it. It's done and it says it's accessible, which is good. So now I'm going to go ahead and proceed. I know this is a correct password. I'm gonna hit OK to proceed. I'm gonna say no. And I know the application user is correct. And we're done. So the next thing is I'm gonna let it finish the install. Once it's all done, you'll get to the command line interface and then you're all set, ready to configure UCCX. Um, again, I'm gonna start pushing these videos out at least once a week, um, just till we get them done. And I'm also gonna be taking requests, so if you have um, anything specific you would like for me to go over, I can make a video on that. Again, I'm focusing on nothing but contact center, whether it be anything from the intelligence center, uh, finesse, the, the 
agent desktop, the IP phone agent, adding user, deleting users. I plan on going over it all, but make sure you guys throw out suggestions or recommendations so that I won't miss anything. I want to make sure this is informative for you as it is for the next person. So just let me know. Stay in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. If you do not have a lab, I sell them on eBay. Um, I will have version 12 very soon. Um, but right now I have all everything from version 8.6 all the way up to 11.5. Like I said, if you specifically need, um, let's say, just the ISO files, I can assist you with getting those as well. I don't sell them on eBay because they don't allow it, but I can get the ISO files if you would like. Uh, they are slightly more money, but it gives you an opportunity to do what I just did and start from the raw ISO files. So that might be something that you guys are interested in doing. Um Again, I just appreciate you guys for being patient with me, letting me work through my things and kind of getting stuff ready to do these videos. I promise you they will be informative and very helpful. Um, I just like to thank you guys for watching and I hope you please help continue to share my information, uh, subscribe to my channel and help the channel grow, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.